Hey everybody, really quickly before we get started, I just wanted to come in and personally thank you guys for watching my videos. I know it has been a while since I uploaded, but I sincerely and greatly appreciate each and every one of you, but I'm pretty sure you didn't come to hear all of that, so let's just hop right into the video. Okay, everybody, so basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just um, sectioning my hair off into four sections, and I take that section and divide it into two to create subsections just to make sure my hair is properly moisturized. Um, and once you moisturize it, don't forget to comb it through so the product is um, even distributely or distributed evenly throughout the hair. Um, it is very important to moisturize your hair before you are doing any type of protective style. This will prevent breakage and shedding. So definitely make sure you moisturize your hair properly. Um, I can't stress how important it is. Eno I can't stress enough how important it is. I am saying everything backwards today. Also, um, after you moisturize your hair, make sure you get your hairline and your um, nape area. A lot of people experience breakage around those sections because they don't even moisturize those sections. Those sections are just important as the remaining parts of your hair. Um, but basically, what you see me doing right here is I'm just going to part my hair in half. And then I'm going to create two side braids and how I determine where to start that braid, I um, measure it off at the end of my eyebrow. So once I make that side braid, then I'm just going to pull it back all the way to the back and then I'm just going to start braiding that straight back. Um, this is going to be my foundation on how I start off my braid. So I'm going to start to swerve the braid in an S motion. Um, it'll make more sense as you keep watching the video. Also, um, I am using Kinecolon braiding hair. Um, as you can see my hairline, it really doesn't need it. However, it's enforcing braiding hair in your crochet braids, it just gives it that extra sturdiness and that extra foundation. Um, I've, I'm starting to learn that. So if you do have braiding hair, go ahead and use some braiding hair and that'll just keep that mold so that your um, braids last a lot longer, which will also make your crochet hairstyle last a lot longer. I don't know where this method came up with saying that your foundation is not important or it doesn't matter how you braid your hair. Child, that do matter. If if you don't have time to keep getting your hair done or if you just don't have the money to, you know, keep swapping out different hairstyles, invest in your hair. Invest in your hair, make sure it's done right or try your best to do it right. Um, and I hope this is helpful to you guys. But just continue to keep watching the video and you'll basically see the braid pattern that I'm going to do and it'll just explain it. Let me know if you like these voiceovers or if you prefer, you know, just for me to shut up, you hear the music and you basically just watch it. But I will hop in on the next clip to explain what we're going to do next. But for this part, just continue to watch. I did a, um, a deep, a deep <laughs> middle part. If you don't want your part that deep, you do not have to have it that deep. Just remember um, when you section off your hair, those two front braids, just cross it over where you want the part to end. But since I'm doing the big curly hair, I didn't mind having a um, deep center part.
yeah, so, oh, it's already here. So coming up, you can see I got this crazy look on my face because I'm realizing that this braid is not going to work. And this is why I was talking about making sure, you know, your foundation is good and everything is intact. Because once I looked at it, I realized that how I would have to install the crochet hair, it would just leave a huge gap right there. And if the wind blew or something like that, you'll be able to see it. And I'm not about that life, you know. I, I like my hair how I like my hair. And y'all ignore my facial expressions. I know I'm looking a little crazy <laughs> throughout this video, but I was jamming to, um, Fantasia's first album, Free Yourself. That album is amazing. I absolutely love it. I, it's, oh Lord. <laughs> I absolutely love that album. If you guys listen to it, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know if you like the album or if you went out and bought it. But Fantasia's first album, Free Yourself, was absolutely dope. I didn't buy another album from her. Um, no, nothing personal. It's just that I don't even buy albums anymore. But that particular album I did buy and I don't regret it. But just continue to watch the video. Basically from here what I'm going to do is just take all of those braids, crisscross them over, and then just braid my hair straight to the back. So continue to watch the video and you will see what I'm talking about. spraying my hair basically what's in the bottle is 75% um, water and then 25% as curl no drip activator it's a great moisturizer and then for oil I'm just oiling my scalp with Jamaican black castor oil that I got from Sally's <laughs> 